Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Do you like crispy fried okra? Oh man, it's delicious. And it's easy to grow okra. It's one of the most productive plants in the garden. It's really putting out right now. I'm gonna go out and pick some fresh okra. Mine's about five feet tall. And uh, the okra flowers are beautiful as well. So if you've never had okra or you've never grown it, I wanna encourage you to give it a try. They're really easy to grow and they're delicious. Doesn't that look good? All right, let's take them in the house and we're gonna fry these up. Well, to do that, we're going to need oil. I'm using just vegetable oil. And the thing here is you need enough oil so that the okra floats. And so I'm gonna put about an inch to an inch and a half of oil, about like that. Okay, now we wanna get some heat going. And it doesn't matter what kind of stove you have, you can do this. So I've got that on medium high. And next is just the simple process of slicing the okra. I'm gonna speed this up because it's really simple. Let me give you a better look. And so I'm not going to cook all of it that I just brought in. I'm just gonna make enough for myself really and for this video. It's so easy to do, about that much but you can make as much as you like. And then here's the, uh, the secret, or at least the trick to it. You don't need eggs or anything like that, just some good buttermilk, and only enough buttermilk to coat the okra. So you saw I, I only put in maybe a tablespoon, two tablespoons, no more than that, and you just stir the okra, and you want enough buttermilk to completely coat the okra. Of course, if you have more okra, you'll need a little more buttermilk, but notice that it's not pooling underneath, so there's just enough to coat the okra, okay? Simple. Really is simple. No problem. Got it? <laughs> All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is put together the coating, and that's easy as well. I'm using a one-quarter cup measure cup, and I'm using Martha White's Buttermilk Corn meal mix. It's self-rising. I like this the best. It's self-rising buttermilk cornmeal mix. I'm going to use two parts or half a cup of this and then I'm going to add one quarter cup of self-rising flour. So that's two parts cornmeal mix and one part flour. And I'm going to add some spices to it to kind of give it a little more uh, zip. This is Creole seasoning. You don't need to do that if you don't want to. That's just a, a little extra that I put in. Give it a quick stir. Get those things all nice and combined. And now it's simply a matter of putting in that okra that's soaked for, well, just a couple of minutes. And then you work it with your hands. Don't be afraid to use your hands when you cook. My goodness, it makes it so much easier. And we stir the okra or move it around and get those individual pieces nice and coated. It's very, very simple. And it only takes a second to rinse your hands off. Let's see if the oil is hot enough. Ah, yes, that's what you want. You want it to really just start to sizzle right away, about 350 degrees. And you put the okra in one piece at a time like that. You can do it quickly, but you want it separated. And I'm only going to do half. I'm going to do this in two batches. If you put too much in, uh, well, it drops the temperature of the oil. And these cook so quickly. And I can't really give you a time. You just watch them. And maybe a minute or two, they turn brown. Nice, light, golden brown. Just like this. And then you get something to scoop them out with. All oh, those look so good. It's really just that easy. It's nothing to it. It's just a matter of, you know, going through the process and then you put the remainder in and you could make as much of this as you want. You could just keep cooking it and have enough for a, a large bowl full for a, a family or just a, a few uh, pieces, <laughs> uh, just enough for one or two people. That's all this is. And actually, it's just for me and then give it a good dose of salt to your preference, just like that. And now I'll put it in a bowl and I, I'll just eat this like popcorn. Take a look at that. It's wonderful and delicious and hot. 
Well, I don't know what else to tell you. Let's just have a bite. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Crispy fried okra. It's just that easy. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.